So this project I modeled on Autodesk Inventor, which is a software for drafting or like engineering parts and stuff like that. Not really for art like the way I'm using it for, but uh, I know how to use it that way and I like to, so I decided to use it to make a birthday gift for my girlfriend. Honestly, I don't know anything about cars, but this car is the Toyota RAV4 1997. I thought it was 1996 for a while, but it is 1997. They are kind of identical. But the, this was the lengthiest part of the project, 3D modeling, and it took about two weeks or so to fully get it done. I have nothing else to say for the 3D modeling part of the project, so hopefully you enjoy the rest of this segment. So my friend James graciously printed this car for me. Thank you so much to him for doing that for me. I would not have been able to get this print otherwise. And he even took care to make sure it got printed nicely and everything, and taking extra steps and all that. So a big thank you to him for helping me do that, as well as doing this time lapse for me so that I can have this little part of the video. So here comes the worst part of the project, any project really, uh, sanding. It's mindlessly boring, takes forever, and is never done when you think it's done. But this part is pretty useful just to make sure the paint sticks as well as the primer coat. So to help keep the details with the print as printing is not always super accurate in small spaces, James suggested that we split the car in half and with that, that meant it had to be glued back together. And when this happened, there was a few cracks and lines and stuff like that to which I used clay to try to fill in to make it look as seamless as possible uh, but you can ca still kind of see the line right there but I think it was a good sacrifice to make just to make it overall much better. I tried to get the car colors pretty accurate to the model reference that I was looking at however I couldn't really get the red correct so it is what you see on the screen right now but I think I got the gray pretty well but I had to suffice to this little more of an inaccurate red. However, I think it looks pretty good overall. I think I should take the time to acknowledge that in this particular part of the video, I am absolutely a terrible filmer, and I think I really need to get a tripod because you can't see anything that I'm doing. So for the windows which I wanted to include, I used plastic from a container that I found and I cut them out and glued them on which was a little messier than I would have liked it to be have been 
definitely because of the hot glue and tight space it was very hard to get it very neatly on but overall i do think that the windows look much better on the car than it would have looked without them so here is the final product end result the car uh, I was trying to, I wanted to do a better setup than this, but I couldn't really get a good video, so this is probably the best that I'm going to get with it. I have the license plate covered up because it's the actual license plate. I wanted to put the real number there just to make it even cooler. Um, yeah, and in the end I added a little guitar string, the high E string, to make the little antenna on the top of the car. But overall, I think this project turned out pretty good. I'm really hoping my girlfriend likes it. and. Yeah, that's about it.